This video is based on an interview done live at the Trenton Computer Festival in April 2007. We've already met Zenon, but now this is a different line of work, uh, or somewhat different line of work. So why don't you explain, Zenon, what this line of work I is? Sure. In my real life, what we do is a lot of technical training, particularly with um, operator training in different technical fields, such as uh, chemical processing. And in this case, um, we were working with a um, college. One of my partners, XL DeSoto, was working with a, a technical college up in da um, Utah. And they wanted to see a 3D uh, mo working model of a gas separator. And so what you see here is the gas separator. And this is of high interest to two of our Fortune 500 clients and will be to more because they are looking for ways to do virtual training to teach people these rudimentary uh, fundamentals of say distillation process. They're also looking at things like can we build an entire processing unit in SL. The entire front of it can move aside and then we have buttons that appear that I can click on that take me to web pages. They show me um, uh, the different parts of the distillation column. They go to other web pages that can show me the different type of trays that are in the column. And so that's unique, and it's also the way that we've utilized those things by driving learners out to the web for the most basic uh, conceptual information and then driving them back in world for the richer interactive pieces is a direct use of um, solid, proven teaching models that, that show us that show our clients that we know what we're doing in terms of using, of utilizing um, innovative applications of existing models. Now, there are plenty of things out in SL. This is, this is a great example of why it's not enough to be a good builder or a good scripter, or both even. If you're trying to promote, if your business is graphic arts, then this is a great way to promote your graphic arts work. But what it, what it doesn't do for me as an educator is promote my educational model The tray itself is uh, visible to me. I can get right up on it, which is something you can never see in a real distillation column. I can never open one up and see the, the tray actually doing something. That's what you have to bring to the party. That's what you have to show your client. You have to be unique because there is always someone around the corner who's bigger than you. Try, you know, who's going to come in here and do things their standard way and they're going to get the business because they have brand recognition. What do you as a small business, as an entrepreneur, as whoever you are, bring into the party to show people this is what I can do. This is what sets me apart. This is what makes me different. Let's say that the person who did this is working at 50 bucks US an hour, okay, which is you know, pretty reasonable given the, the type of work they're doing for real world. It took a very proficient person about um, two weeks part time, so we're going to put that right at 40 hours, to develop this piece, okay? To do the equivalent in Flash took a $150 an hour graphics person. Um, they put it together in Flash. It took them five weeks. It was $5,000, and that didn't include any of the tutorial information at all. And they handed the uh, college the um, compiled script and wanted to charge them another five grand to make changes. So when you talk about those kind of man hours and that kind of money, there's really, it's very little, there's very little comparison. And right now when we talk to corporations, we're talking to them in the range of doing a complete processing unit with um, troubleshooting, so many procedures, and you know, the, I mean, we have kind of a little script we're following on that, and we're saying your own sim for a year, hosted in Second Life, secured, yakety smackety, all that stuff. Um, we're giving them a quote in the fifty thousand dollar range for a year for unlimited use. And then on the, uh, if we do it on our own server with a similar MMO that's been, you know, the development tools have been altered to make the learning curve smaller, 
completely secure pipeline is in the $100,000 range.